Hello, gymnast. Hope that you guys are um, getting a chance with this great weather to get outside and maybe exercise some of those gymnastics muscles. Some of you have mats and balance beams at home, which are great. If you can um, use those, please do so. I'm gonna go over all the list of things that we do normally at the beginning of class. Most of you know this pretty much by heart. Um, these are so important in keeping our muscles fit and trim, also keeping our bodies a little bit more stretched out, challenging ourselves every step of the way. The um, one thing I do want you to kind of do is go back on the feed um, that we have for my classes. And in there, there is a um, headstand challenge. I'd like for you, after you've done all these things, to go back to that and then um, do that headstand challenge. Maybe videotape that and then put that on our Facebook page. I would love to see it. So I will put that feed also on our Facebook page and you can just add on to that. So good luck with that. The other thing that I have found really helpful um, that I find myself doing every day is um, on the Facebook page, there is a Disney Zumba warm up and they are usually anywhere from five to eight minutes long they're all disney music and tons of fun and lots of energy so pick one or two of those every day to do maybe and um, just have some fun with it there's there's at least 10 of them on there and they're um, all energetic and different different ones will stretch different parts of the body so give that a shot let me know what you think about it i find it lots of fun to do so um when we get ready for gymnastics class, usually you start with your 10 jumping jacks, right? And as you do your 10 jumping jacks, you do it to each wall. So by the time that you are done, you have 40 jumping jacks. After that, you go into your burpees. You know what those are, the straight jump, hopefully with pointed toes. Then as you come down, you jump your feet back till you're in a plank position, come back to squat, and then you start again. Every time you jump, it's a jump with purpose. So the feet are together, the toes are pointed, and the arms are by the ears, which is a very traditional thing that we do in all our gymnastics poses, right? <laughs> okay, after you go into doing that, then I want you to go ahead and lay on your back, and we usually call this the frog position, but the basics of it is you're laying on your back, your bottoms of your feet are together and the knees are open, and then you can rest. You're resting your breathing while you're stretching your inner thighs. You will lay there, count your clock, one minute. Then you begin your wrist circles, 10 in both directions, and then you'll do the same thing with your feet, 10 in both directions, correct? <laughs> Okay, I could count these out for you, but I pray that you could do it on your own. You might even want to set your routine to some music that will inspire you to keep going. After we do that, I would like you to do your knee hinges. Again, I would like you to do 10 of them. And when you do those, it's all about the front of the legs getting stronger. So squeeze the bum, make sure you're super tight, you lean back, and then you pull back up again. Lean back as far as you can before you have to come back up. Strengthen those legs, challenge your muscles. After you've done 10 of those, you're gonna go into knee back bends, or some of you are pretty good with your standing back bends, and then you may do ten, five of those, just five of those. After you've done all of that, <laughs> and I know you've gotta write all this stuff down, but I will also send this a list to your parents again. Um, I want you to go into your bridge holds, Remembering that we're really trying to stretch through the arms on these bridge holds. So push your shoulders back over those hands as far as you can. You might even um, have to use your leg strength to do that, right? So straightening out those knees might be very helpful to you. Come down and rest your back, roll it out a couple of times, egg roll we call them, and then bridge back up again. This time bring your feet together. Practice, straight, Bend knee, straight leg to the ceiling, squeeze tight, bend, and place the foot back on the floor. If you're pretty good, you can probably do both legs. Some of you have been working very hard on walking sideways, um, both directions, walking front ways, um, back ways, turning, 
and turning the opposite direction. So lots of choices there while you're in your back bend that don't take up a ton of space. When you are done with that though, I need you to get into your child's pose for at least a good minute, okay? Um, so you might need a stopwatch kind of handy or usually if you say your alphabet nice and slow, that's usually about a minute. Um, your child's pose, you need to make sure that your hips are down on your feet and your arms are reaching. If that is hard for you to breathe, open out your knees so that you can get down a little deeper and open up the chest a little further. After you've done all of that, then it would be time to stretch your legs, right? So a lot of times we will start with our legs in a butterfly position, trying to get the knees very, very close to the floor. You can lean the stomach forward, you can walk the hands out, you can drop the head down and try to get your elbows to the floor. Lots of options there. Again, I'd like for you to hold for about a minute. I'll take 30 seconds if I can get it though. All right, then you go into your straddle. So you've straddled your legs, but then push your hands from the back, push your hips forward. Knees are on the floor and knees are facing the ceiling. Toes don't have to be pointed right here, but they definitely have to stay off the floor. You get your arms up, you twist towards the leg, you lay yourself over, and then you wanna lean a little forward so the elbow is close to the floor. Walk yourself to the front. Same thing, the hands are out. Maybe the elbows, maybe the head is on the floor. Doing the same thing to the other leg. I like to do the center twice though, get an extra stretch in there, right? Um, we usually have a series of exercises done on the knee as well. And so a lot of times we take that right knee out in front, straight leg, the foot in the back, straight behind of you, right? So our hips are straight forward. Flex the foot and place the hands on the floor, reaching the top of the head towards the top of the foot. We balance hold there for about 30 seconds, then place the hands up, pressing the hip towards the floor, stretching through here. You can have your hands on your knee, you can have your arms lifted, or you can place elbows on the floor, inside foot, keep that hip close to the floor. When all that is said and done, Slide out into your split and hold. Very good. Of course, you have to do that for the right leg and the left leg, and then you should be ready, about ready to do those straddle splits. Sometimes we do a standing stretch, push the knees out and back, and you can rock a little side to side maybe, not to let the hips go back, but to pull them under and keep the knees out wide. Another option, if you want, is to get close to a wall that is okay by your parents to put your feet on it. Always ask first, right? Or maybe the back of a couch would work. Legs go up, legs go out, and you straddle hold, again, for about a minute. Yes? Another option for a pike stretch might be to put your feet up against the wall, pull the tummy in and reach for the wall and hold. Again, about 30 seconds would be great. Alrighty, if you have trouble touching the wall, you can softly bend the knees and lean into it. I need you to be stretching the backs of those legs. Not so much the low back, but definitely the backs of the legs. When you have completed all of these things, which usually takes about 30 minutes, you may go to the headstand challenge and see if, what you can accomplish there. Make sure you take some video or picture. Then you can also, if you're allowed to go outside or if you have a man at home, practice your handstands, good technique, always using the arms by the ears. You push up, you point that toe, lever into it, and as you're, come, whoops, as you're coming out of it, pull those arms back up again to finish your skill. Same thing applies with your cartwheels, right? Whether they be side cartwheels or front cartwheels, arms to ears at all times. Alrighty, I hope you know your passes. If you don't know your passes, ladies, um, let me know. I wrote down a few things in our last class and I can pass that on to your folks. Just send me an email. All right. I miss you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.